Hey there folks and happy Thanksgiving and welcome back for another shaving video and today we're going to use two cool things. On my left here we have Sterling Soap Red Delicious. This is, I think I paid $8.50 or $9.50, whatever it was, it was like $1.66 an ounce. Beautiful apple type smell, um, scent strength about 7. Just really, really nice. Not terribly artificial uh, like a candy but just a beautiful apple type scent. And once again, it is uh, Sterling Red Delicious. And also, we're going to use the Above the Tie uh, Aluminum Razor. This is called, I believe it was called Calypso. Um, let's see if I can show you the plate here. We'll take it apart for you. Now, one thing I want to call to your attention, it's got a, an Atlas type handle. However, that handle is uh, longer than the traditional Atlas handle. You still get the great knurling on it that hopefully you can see there. Really, really nice. It's a black type color. And then you have a blue plate, uh, black head. And there is uh, the plate. Hopefully you can see that. It is, uh, what does it say? Maybe I should hold it up the right way. That would help. There you go. It's uh, This one is R-A-L-R. -R. So these are new. And now available at Above the Tie. It was sent to me um, by Stan to try out uh, and show to you guys. And then we'll send it back. So we'll go ahead and put our blade in here. And if you've ever had trouble uh, putting a blade in an Above the Tie razor due to the small pins, just put your uh, fingers on the edge like so. Drop it in there and hold it like so. It'll, it drops right in there very easily. Top cap goes on. You're good to go. Beautiful razor here. Um, I tried the prototype and this one is a lot more handsome. I love that color scheme. And again, it's, it's, um, it's, it's close to black in color. I don't know how well that comes through, but it's a beautiful, beautiful razor. I believe it is $96 at above the top. And remember there's something I meant, um, I mentioned in the past that I want to mention again. He has a guarantee, but that guarantee is for 30 days. So if you get one, you don't like it and want to swap it out, make sure you do that in 30 days. One of my viewers reminded me um, of that. Anyway, beautiful razor, which we will use today. So let's go ahead and uh, get started loading our Sterling Red Delicious, which some, which it, for me is some of the finest soap you can get anywhere in the world for a great price. I mean, it's killer. I was talking to um, Phil Sylvester the other night about sterling and just how great it is for the money and and we both agreed and we've tried a lot of stuff because uh, <clears throat> because Philip Sylvester went on a tear where he, <laughs> he tried about everything there was um, a few years back and he comes to the same conclusion that a lot of these <clears throat> soaps um, you know this sort of a core group that he uses because they're proven and great and he doesn't have to spend a lot of cash and sterling is among them and they definitely are for me. I'm also using the Sterling Kong brush today. Oh, wonderful, wonderful scent. And again, it's not a candy artificial type apple. It's like a real apple scent. Add a little more water here. This is great stuff. I gotta tell you, my pile of Sterling is building and <laughs> building, and I expect it to get bigger um, as time goes. Cause I, you know, it's just, it's friggin' great. It hasn't rivaled that of Katie's Bubbles yet, but it's definitely beginning to approach. So, Chris, that means you need to start making some more soap. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, beautiful stuff here. Great load. Let's uh, wet the face and get going. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. And we know what the expectations are for Sterling. Phenomenal performance. All the time, without question. Oh, that's that's scent comes out. It's beautiful. This I think was eight or nine fifty. It's crazy, the price on this stuff. It's just, it's absurd, <laughs> in a good way. Rod and Mandy just, wow, knocking it out of the park. Oh, I love this scent. Excellent. And as you can see here, it doesn't take any time at all to get a good lather going. And I'm going to tell you, this lather. The quality on it is top notch. Absolutely superb. And I'm going to use a uh, Sterling aftershave today too. 
I hope everyone in the U.S. is has big plans for a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving with their friends and family today. I will be joining my family. They, uh, my dad, my mom and dad live about an hour away, and I'll be joining them. Boy, that feels nice. If you're in the market for an aluminum razor, wow, uh, aluminum double-edged razor, this guy. Shapes like the uh, above the top R plate, which I like. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And that sort of trademark sterling residual slickness. Fantastic. This is really a <laughs> great looking razor, guys, I gotta tell you. I am tempted uh, to buy one myself, but I won't right now. I may pick one up later. It's getting close to the holidays. So. I don't know that I'll be buying very many razors right now, but I gotta tell you, this shaves beautifully. And if you, you've been looking for that aluminum razor, you like the lightweight, this is, uh, this is pretty awesome. And it looks great too. Yeah, outstanding. I will use this a few times just to see how it goes and then I'll Send it back to Stan. Thank you, Stan, for allowing me to try it and show it to folks. It is on sale now if you were interested. Like I said, if you're an aluminum razor fan, um, you might want to check it out. And if you've never tried one, you know what you're going to get from Above the Ties Good Quality. And uh, within that 30 day period, he will definitely make it right if there are issues. So. He's not just going to give you a partial refund, you know. He'll swap it out, and uh, he pretty much does whatever necessary to, to get you to a happy place. All right, that was an excellent first pass. Both razor and soap, wonderful. We'll come back for pass two. I got to tell you guys, every time I use Sterling, I move closer, closer, closer and closer, I should say, to saying that I don't know that there's a finer soap that can be found of any price. I mean, it is definitely moving up on my list, not only because it's inexpensive, but because it delivers time after time after time in performance. Um, it is definitely challenging, Katie's Bubbles, for that number one spot. That's, as I continue to use it, that's how impressed I am by it. Now, that said, um, Katie's Bubbles uh, is not only a sentimental favorite, but a favorite simply because of its performance. So there are two different types of soaps. Katie's Bubbles, of course, makes um, vegan formula, and Sterling is tallow with lanolin, which I really, really like personally. But they are neck and neck. That's how good, I believe, at this point, Sterling is. It's just fantastic. And I could crow about it all day. Uh, but I won't. I'll confine my crying about it to, the, to this video. Uh, uh, you know, the more I use it, the more I fall in love with it. And the fact that I don't have to pay, you know, $4 an ounce, $5 an ounce, or even $3 an ounce makes me feel really good. That residual slickness there is off the hook. I mean, it's it's tremendous. So... And I gotta tell you, this this razor is really nice. Um, usually, I don't find myself enjoying light razors so much, but I do enjoy the Colonial Razors Kernel, which is aluminum, or General, excuse me, Colonial Razors General. And I'm liking this one. It is far uh, more polished than the prototype. Of course, that's what you expected. It looks great, and so. This may be one that I pick up myself, say, after the holidays. Although I've told myself I'm not going to be uh, buying a lot of hardware anymore because I'm, I'm just really happy with the hardware that I have. Everything's just hitting the spot. You know, I have so many to choose from already. But uh, I do really like this. In fact, um, I like this razor better than I do the SE2, which I tried a while back. Um, I don't know why. I love the above the tie SE1, the single edge razor, and I love this one. It's really doing a fantastic job. 
working well with soap. Brand new Astro Blade in here. And uh, they work nicely together. So beautiful. Beautiful work here by the by the tile aluminum. I think it's called Calypso, if I'm not mistaken. And if I'm wrong, I'll make a note down there um, at the towards the bottom. All right, excellent second pass. We'll come back for a pass three. Just an excellent shave in progress here, folks. And a wonderful way to start out the Thanksgiving holiday. Some of you folks, I realize, will. Take to shopping either, either this evening or tomorrow, and God bless you, because, you know, we can, those retailers can use that boost. That's why they call tomorrow Black Friday. The sales are really uh, strong usually then, and it puts them in the black, so to speak. Um, and there are a lot of sales and so forth here in the U.S. All right. Phenomenal soap here, folks. Like I said. This sterling has moved, you know, it, it literally jumped out of my budget category because at one time I had it in a budget category. And it's of such quality, I just can't cap, um, categorize it by price. You really have to categorize it by quality. It is, it's top shelf. And I will continue to say that. And I'm very pleased that more and more people are seeing this and trying it for themselves and go, whoa, you know. And then they email me and uh, they're thankful because they found a soap they don't have to pay, you know, four or five dollars an ounce for. Uh, some of the soaps of, uh, you know, some of the leaders are pretty close to that level. And so, um, you know, you get sterling here and it's usually two something an ounce or somewhere in there. Fantastic, although this one's one dollar sixty six or dollar sixty seven, which is just absolutely superb. And the job it's doing is outstanding. And you can really feel it when you go to rinse this lather or remain lather off your face, your hand just shoots around because it's, it's so slick with that residual slickness. And working real nice with this uh above the tie razor. I think a lot of people are going to like um, uh, this razor. They have the M version, which is a little more mild, and this one is the R. And it is for sale now. Uh, it is expensive for an aluminum razor, so you know you have to take that into consideration. Um, but you know, above the tie, they make quality stuff, so you have to make your own decision whether it's worth it to you or not. What I can tell you is this, if I were in the market for an aluminum razor right now, I would buy it. And I may indeed buy it later. But right now it's, you know, close to the holidays, it's time to be saving a little bit of that money for your Christmas gifts for the kids and, you know. So anyway, Phenomenal job today with this razor. Absolutely superb. A look or two. Outstanding. All right, stand by. We'll rinse the face and come back for the post. All right, that was a magnificent shave. We're going to move on to the post with our Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. And while I'm doing that, you know, Thanksgiving is a time where we always talk about the things we are thankful for. And, of course, I'm thankful for my job and my wife and family and all those things. But I'm also thankful for the folks who who come to this channel and watch my material and they get it. And by that I mean I'm the type of guy that lives my life in a in a particular way. Um, and, and that way is I stand up for what I believe in and I'm not afraid to speak on the things that I believe in. Now people will always go and go, oh he's creating drama. No, I come out, I take a stand and then I move on, generally. That's the way it works, and, and that's not drama. When you come out in life and you stand up for something, you make something known, uh, you have your say, and you move along, that's not creating drama. That's just being true to who you are. And so I receive messages every day from people who thank me 
for that. And I want to thank you all for not only for watching, but for getting it. I'm always going to stand up for the things that I believe in. And when people do wrong by friends of mine, I'm going to stand up, make my statement, and then I'm going to move on. I will speak after that with my dollars. And I take a lot of criticism for that. And that's okay. That's okay. I find that a lot of people um, don't necessarily, not a lot, but some people don't hold the same values that I hold. You know, I believe in living up to your word. I believe in doing the things you say you're going to do. I believe in service and all these things. Um, and, you know, I get the comment from time to time, oh, he thinks he's morally superior. No, I don't think I'm superior. But I'm happy with who I am, and I'm not afraid to talk about it. All right, I try to do things the right way as I see it. And that's sort of how I live my life. Am I perfect? Absolutely not. Am I morally superior to you all? Absolutely not. But I will say, I try to be a man of my word um, to the greatest extent possible. And if I'm not, it's because either I've forgotten or, you know, there are sometimes people ask me for things and I, and I forget. Or, um, But, you know, I try to be a man of my word. I try to live my life in a way that's I think is... Uh, you know, <clears throat> indicative of a person of some level of substance. It doesn't make me perfect, doesn't make me better than you. Um, but I'm not afraid to talk about it, and it doesn't bother me uh, when I take the hits. So those of you guys who get that, like Chris, we talked last week, Philip Sylvester, a lot of people, I really do appreciate the messes, messages <laughs> Excuse me, that you send, the support, and of course the folks in Razor and Brush and, and uh, all of the supporters. I just want to thank you today on Thanksgiving Day along with my family and of course the Lord and everybody for allowing us to do this, allowing us to get together, allowing us to share this hobby. And sometimes we talk about things other than shaving. We're not all just shaving geeks, right? We're people, we have thoughts, we have feelings, we have principles, and uh, there's not a problem espousing those. All right, so that's my statement. Now let's get to the aftershave. We're going to use Sterling Noir simply because I haven't used it. I bought it with my last order, and it smells like a Dracar, if you remember that, which is a nice cologne. First time I've used this, and uh, I do like the scent, so, oh, that feels nice. <clears throat> Sterling makes wonderful aftershaves for the money, too. They don't gouge you on the price. I can't recall what this is off the top of my head, but these aren't $20, $25 aftershaves. They're usually 14 Maybe somewhere in there. I'm just, you know, just the, off, off the top of my head, I think that's somewhere in that $13.50, $14.50. They don't gouge you. Uh, so I really appreciate them. And they do hang around. And in terms of quality, my face feels great. Um, you can add witch hazel to these if you want. Or excuse me, you can add menthol. They already have witch hazel. They use um, alcohol, witch hazel, fragrance, aloe, glycerin, hydrovance. I don't know what that last ingredient is, but anyway, it works very well for me. Uh, I like them a lot. So let's do a quick review. The Red Delicious Soap was just outstanding. Um, check it out if it interests you. It's not a, a super artificial apple scent. It's really, really nice. And here is our, uh, of course, it's got a little soap residue on it, which I will remove here in a moment. Uh, Above the tie, ALR. This is aluminum. It's beautiful. It shaved incredibly well. We will use it again tomorrow. And uh, we'll send it back to stand when we're done trying it out. Again, available at Above the Tie. I believe it's $96. And, of course, our Sterling Kong brush, which is fantastic. And last but not least, our aftershave. Thanks, everyone, once again for watching. You guys have a great day. Until next time, let's make America shave again.